Hi, I'm Jason with Family Handyman, here to talk about pressure washing your concrete driveway. Whether you want to improve the curb appeal of your house or extend the life of your driveway, pressure washing is a great way to do it. So here are some tips to help you pressure wash your concrete driveway. Before you start, you want to clean your roof or your siding first. Uh, otherwise, your nice clean driveway is going to be totally ruined by all the gunk and the dirt from those surfaces. And then you're going to want to get rid of the larger objects like cars, bikes, toys, um, and then go ahead and clean off the smaller debris with a leaf blower, making sure you really get that clean because otherwise you'll have to clean it off with the power washer which uses way too much water. To protect your plants, shrubs, or garden from detergent or the power washer itself, you're going to want to go ahead and place the tarp over the plants. I highly recommend spot treating rust stains, oil stains, paint stains, anything that's difficult to get out with a concrete detergent that's diluted to 1 to 20 ratio before you start power washing. To clean a concrete driveway, I chose a 3100 PSI gas pressure washer. You could certainly use a 1800 electric pressure washer to clean a concrete driveway, but it'll be a lot harder and slower to get the job done. So this, I felt, really did a great job. You're going to want to consider water usage in drought-prone areas or during a hot summer day so that you don't run out of water, especially if you're using well water. I'm going to be using this Zep concrete driveway detergent to get a nice deep clean on the concrete. Uh, I'll also be using the surface cleaner. It's fast, it's easy, and it will make your job so much better uh, if you use this. To apply the soap, I'm going to use the soap fan option for the 5-in-1 nozzle, but you can also use a 40-degree nozzle as well. Now that the pressure washer is hooked up and ready to go, you want to make sure to pull the trigger for 30 seconds to get the air out of the hose. As always, remember safety first. Wear eye protection and ear protection. I'm gonna start by applying the detergent with the pressure washer in a tight controlled space. You don't wanna wash the entire driveway at one shot because the soap could end up drying and uh, damage the concrete. Once I've got the detergent down, I'm gonna come back with the surface cleaner and rinse from side to side until all the soap is clear. Then I'll repeat that process, soap and rinse, until you get to the very end of the driveway and you know that the whole surface is clean. If you've got crevices or edges along your driveway, you're gonna have soap and water that'll end up uh, sitting for too long of a time, so you're going to want to go ahead and use a nozzle to spray some of that stuff out and really wash it. Then you'll want to continue to repeat that process until you've reached the end of the driveway. Now that the surface is dry and clean, you'll want to go ahead and put a sealant over the top. That'll make it last longer and it'll be easier to clean the next time around. I think the results speak for themselves. For more information on cleaning concrete, visit us at familyhandyman.com.